Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about uh, the page layout option in Windows Word. So first we will start the Windows Word. So just go with the run and then type WinWord and press enter. So the Windows Word application will be opened. So just go with the do uh, blank document. And here in the menu bar, so you can observe here there is a page layout. So name itself indicates the page layout means we can set the margins, we can set the orientation, we can fix the size, page size and we can represent the data in different formats and we can give the page breaks or we can give the line numbers right and also indentation that is a margins and we can if, if you are having the combination of text and image in the page so we can simply align the text or uh, and or the image right so the, that type of alignment the combination of text and images that can be done by using these two options that is a position and a wrap text right and we'll see all these things so just i will take some content example content and i will insert that into the document so i'm just copying this content from here and i'm just pasting it so some some sort of lines now you can observe the margins so here in the view menu you can have the roller so that it, the roller will be displayed here so you can observe here so the left margin is up to here okay the left margin and this is the right margin and the top margin and the bottom margin you can observe all these things now if you want to set the margins you can apply the normal margin this is a narrow margin so if you select the narrow margin so you can observe the margin has been changed right so go with the normal margin so you can observe here so this is a normal margin and if you go with the narrow margin the margin has been changed so so you can apply the changes here so this is a moderate margin and wide margin so a lot of uh, space will be occupied and then the mirrored margin right so these are various margins or the already default margins and if you are not satisfied with these default margins you can simply go with the custom margin and you can apply the margins see here here you can see the top margin bottom margin inside margin and outside margin right and the landscape the orientation how the paper can be displayed so everything can be done here all right so so here uh, the next one is the orientation so orientation means the representation of a page so this is the portrait representation that means a vertical representation and there is a one more representation called landscape so you can observe here the the paper or the page will be of horizontal representation so you can observe if you select this one so automatically the page width has been changed right the height of page is reduced the width will be increased right if you go with the portrait the width will be reduced and the height will be increased right so that's why i'm saying this is a vertical representation and that is a horizontal representation and the next one is the size so what what size we need to implement right if it is a letter there will be some fixed size if it is a a4 size paper so that is, this is a fixed size and if you need a more number of uh, sizes so you can have it here and you can leave the width and height of the page okay only width and height of the page so the horizontal level and the vertical level right and this can be done here by using the size option and the columns so we can represent the data how we can represent the data so we can represent the data in a single column or a multiple columns so here it is selected by default it will be one and if you go with the two so automatically you can observe the roller so this is one column and this is another column so if you just keep on uh, typing the image typing the message so you can observe after end of the page after getting the end of the page the next it will come with the next column so you can observe right so here if if it completes so automatically it will go with the next column so like that uh, we can represent the data in two columns and if you want to represent the data in a three columns so just select this one and go to the three columns so you can observe here it will be the three columns the same data will be represented in three columns so you can observe here this is the one column this is a second column and this is a third column and this is a left so left it will be some sort of the things and right will be more 
okay so two columns will be represented one column will be narrow and second column will be wide and that is the left left column so you can observe here this is a left column that means the leftmost column will be a narrow column and the rightmost column will be right wide column similarly right right side so you can observe here the low roller okay and that is all about this one and uh, you can have the line numbers you can have the line you can include the line numbers for the text so i will go with a single column okay single column and now we'll see the line numbers what are the different line numbers we can give so just select the line numbers and go with the continue so you'll get the line numbers okay it excludes the spaces it excludes the spaces and it will give the line number right and if the same content is repeated the same content is repeated you can observe the continuous line numbers will be coming so if you go with the next one restart each page so you can observe after end of the page the next page again it starts with one right if you want to get the page number i mean line number you need to select this line numbers okay so then the next one is a indent indent means margin indent is nothing but a margin so you can you can observe there will be if, if i increase the indent left indent you can observe the margin left margin see so it was just moving right moving towards its right so left margin has been changed and similarly if you want to change the right margin so you can observe the right margin has been changed here so you can observe here it, it was moving right so right margin has been changed so like that we can change the light left margin right margin uh, before and after right so everything can be done manually if you are not satisfied with the given fixed margins you can simply go with the manual margins and next one is important thing is this uh, see here a space spacing also there you can observe there is a lot of spacing okay you can apply the spacing also if you put the cursor here you just implement this one so you will get a topmost spaces and similarly you will also get the bottom spaces okay bottom spaces right top space and bottom space after the paragraph okay before and after and the next one, next important thing in this page layout menu is position and wrap text so this will be useful whenever you need to have the combination of image and a text see first i will include the image so i just insert the image so i will go with the online pictures and here we'll get the search engine i will go with the, some sort of uh, stacks in data structure i will search for the image so so that uh, we'll get some sort of uh, images so you just select that image see so i will select this image and click on insert you can observe see it was displayed here and this complete margin has been wasted so in that case we can change the position so you can observe here in line with text so in line with text means it will be treated as a single character so you can observe here see here it, it starts with the stacks if you move here so one letter will be on the left hand side on remaining letters will be on the right hand side so this will be treated as a single character okay the position will be moving right next the next one is with text wrapping with text wrapping so with text wrapping means you can observe here this space is not been wasted so after completion of this image okay after completion of this image automatically the data has been started displaying here so this is completely within the text so you can observe you can select the text and you can have the position so these are the text positions so in, this is uh, inside the text okay you can move the text automatically you, you can move the image so that it will be fit in any place any place so if you fit, if it is fit here you can observe the sentence doesn't have any deviation so it continues right the stack definition operation implementation using arrays linked list and stack applications right so it will be keep on moving here 
and similarly there are different options here so you can use a more number of options for displaying the text along with the image and the wrap text is the square so here you can observe so everything will be displayed in terms of squares and if you go with the tight and the thorough and top and bottom you can observe so there will be no left and right portions so only top and bottom so within the image so if you insert the image if you move keep on moving towards the text so some text will be appeared at the top of the image and some text will be appeared at the bottom of the text right so here you can observe behind the text so behind the text means you can observe here so i have given the image at back background so i have i have displayed the image as a background so behind the text so this is a behind the text and front of text so front of text so this is also similar so it will overlap the image it will overlap the image right so you can observe here so there are a lot of options if you want to represent the text with the image okay and also we can select it one so bring it to front okay forward front of text so there are a lot of options you can send backward and send back behind the text and all these things these are options so to work with the image and text right so this is how we can use the image and also we can we can set this image with the different options picture styles you can observe here we are having some sort of uh, uh, frames or rounded rectangles and we are having some frames see there are a lot of ways we can apply the frame image right so you can select one among these things and we can uh, include the image so we can use the position and wrap text right so hope you understood this uh, page layout options so uh, we have seen the margins orientation how to display the page and uh, what is the size of the page and how many columns we need to represent and the line numbers indentation spacing and the position and wrap text right so hope you understood this one let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this page layout so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much